Welcome to this episode of Optimal Anesthesia on the fascinating intersection of physics and anesthesia. Today, we're exploring how Newton's second law, F equals MA, influences various aspects of anesthesia practice. Imagine a balloon, representing your lungs, being filled with air. The harder you blow, the faster the balloon inflates, right? This concept mirrors Newton's second law of motion, which states that the force applied to an object is directly proportional to its mass and acceleration. In mechanical ventilation, this law is crucial. The ventilator applies a force, represented by the pressure it delivers, to overcome the inertia of the patient's lungs and airways. This force accelerates the airflow into the lungs, ensuring that an adequate volume of air reaches the alveoli for gas exchange. Anesthesiologists play a crucial role in this process. They adjust the ventilator settings, including the pressure and flow rate, to achieve the desired tidal volume and respiratory rate. This careful adjustment ensures that the patient receives enough oxygen and that carbon dioxide is effectively removed from the body. So, the next time you see a balloon inflate, think about the intricate dance of forces happening inside your lungs during mechanical ventilation, guided by Newton's second law. Picture this, you're at a toy racetrack, and you've got a toy car representing medication. The track is like in four line, and your goal is to push the car along at just the right speed to reach the finish line, which is like the patient's bloodstream. Now, let's apply Newton's second law to this scenario. The force you apply to push the car, F, is directly related to its mass, M, and the acceleration, A, it undergoes. Similarly, in medicine, the force needed to push medication through in four line is related to the medication's mass and the speed at which it needs to reach the bloodstream. Anesthesiologists use this principle to calculate the infusion rate of medications. By considering the desired dose, the patient's weight, and the required plasma concentration, they can determine the optimal force per unit time needed to achieve the desired effect. Have you ever had to move a heavy object, like a piece of furniture, and notice that the harder you push, the faster it moves? That's the essence of Newton's second law of motion, and it applies to patient movement and positioning in anesthesia too. When a patient needs to be repositioned on the operating table, the surgical team applies a force to overcome the patient's inertia and accelerate their motion. Just like pushing a heavy box across a smooth floor, the force applied, F, is directly related to the patient's mass, M, and the resulting acceleration, A. Anesthesiologists play a crucial role in ensuring safe and smooth patient movement. They consider the patient's mass and the forces involved to prevent discomfort or injury. It's like moving that heavy box with care, ensuring a gentle and controlled slide without jerking or harm. In summary, Newton's second law, F equals MA, is a fundamental principle that underpins various aspects of anesthesia practice. By understanding and applying this law, anesthesiologists can optimize patient care, ensure the safe and effective delivery of medications, and enhance overall safety in medical procedures. That's all for today's episode. Stay tuned to Optimal Anesthesia for more insights into the world of anesthesia. Remember, Stay curious and keep exploring the science around you.